What's up coaches? This is my YouTube channel, Coach E. I'm Brad Ellingsworth, and this channel is dedicated to all things football, and especially being simple and playing fast. All right, so today we're gonna talk about a game flow script to use um, on your walkthrough practice days. So for example, we play on Friday nights, some people play on Saturdays, this would be, you know, a Thursday practice for us. This is what we would end with. Um, so just a couple things really quickly before I dive into it that I need to mention. This is not the only thing we do on Thursday, right? We'll, we'll do all three team periods, uh, special teams, offense, defense. Now, there'll be shorter team periods because I actually start practice on Tuesday and Wednesday with special teams as well. So we don't need to devote. I don't believe in waiting till the last day to, to do special teams. So we'll have a shorter special teams period or have a regular special teams period I should say because we'll do whatever remaining special teams we haven't hit during the week and then our offense and defense team periods will be shortened and then we'll go through our game flow we'll walk over to the game field and do this this is a rehearsal and the point the point of this game flow script is to practice number one game flow and two situations okay I did not come up with this Okay, I, I, I don't know anybody in football that's really invented anything new, but I had the privilege to not only play under Coach Bill Colick um, in high school, but also coach under him as well. Uh, if you don't know Coach Colick, he was at one point in time the head football coach at Delaware State University when they won the MEAC uh, championship. And when he did this, I thought it was awesome, and it, it's something now – just hired as a head coach, I'm definitely going to use. So, you're going to walk over to the game field, okay? And I have, I'm going to go over this illustration first before I get into the script. All right, so we have all our players lined up here, you know, at the, at the get back line, wherever they're supposed to be lined up at. It's going to be very important. Whatever expectations you have here, on the sideline during games, it needs to be held right now. This is game flow. This is we are rehear this is our dress rehearsal. Okay. Uh, these different shapes that I have drawn up indicate coaches. So our the circles I have here drawn up our are our roster responsible coaches. So one coach will have a depth chart for special teams. One coach will have a depth chart for offense. One co coach will have a depth chart for defense. Now, we are not two platoon. We share a lot. We got a lot of two-way players, three-way players, I guess, if you want to um, call it that. So, But the point is, is when somebody's injured, we need to know who's next, right? I, I know some of you guys, I'm not telling you anything new, but we're going to use all the coaches in our program from the freshman JV varsity program. Freshman coaches don't interact with the varsity players at all, okay? during the week, but they they will come on Friday nights and everyone will have a responsibility, okay? So, we'll have three coaches in charge of special teams roster, uh, defense roster, offense roster. The squares here are the get-back coaches. One of the get-back coaches will be responsible also for the balls, okay? Our squiggly lines here are going to be the head coach and the play callers, Okay? So, like, I'm head coach, uh, offensive coordinator, so we'll need one squiggly line to represent that, and we'll have special teams coordinator and defensive coordinator. If you need four squiggly lines, then you need to put a four squiggly line, okay? If you have a fourth uh, play caller for head coach, OC, DC, special teams. The three triangles that are on the field are going to be the coaches that are going to be upstairs, okay? I have... One coach for uh, offensive side on the headset, one coach for defensive side on the headset, and one coach taking stats, okay, uh, or charting plays. So they will be responsible for counting if we have 11 players on the field during this, and they will be responsible for spotting the football, okay, while we're running through this whole thing, and some different things that I'll go through when we get to the script. <clears throat> All right, Whew. now on to the script. This is meant to flow like a game and to um, practice running on and off the field and all those little things and all those expectations. So as guys are running on and off the field, these coaches, these five coaches, need to be responsible for the ho holding the expectations 
of what you have for your guys on the sideline during the game. I mean, there's not going to be a bunch of circus shit going on back here, okay? There needs to be – these coaches are responsible for the sideline and when we run guys on and on. Okay, so we'll start – our kickoff team will run on, okay? We will have a returner back there to, to field, um, and we'll run our kickoff uh, team on. We'll kick the ball off. We'll practice, you know, they'll run down, stay in their lanes, Whatever kickoff you use, middle, left, right, whatever you do, okay, you're going to you're gonna send that one call in. You're going to practice kickoff. Again, I need to preface this. by We are not working on technique during this time. We've already practiced kickoff during the week, okay? We've already practiced offense. Deep. This is not a time for technique. This is a time for game flow and situations, okay? So, kick, off, uh, kick the ball off, run down field, stay in their lanes, yada, yada. Defense will now come on. All right, and we'll go four calls. Now, you see these numbers here? That's where we're going to spot the football. Okay, so when I have a minus 30, that means we're going to spot the ball on our own 30. Okay, so defense will have four calls. So, again, we'll have a coach to spot the football. We will have a coach designated with the football, saying a cadence. Uh, he'll jog left or right for the runs, and he'll put the ball by his ear left or right. For pass, okay? We'll do two runs, two passes. And again, a coach designated for that. All right? Then we'll run our punt return on. I know so I know, we try to do this. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys probably do this. Um, our defense is our punt return for the most part. Uh, so we wouldn't run a ton of guys on there, but we're going to go to punt return. Okay? Well, if you have a long snapper that just long snaps, then run him out there with the punter. And they will long snap and punt. If you don't, then just get your punter out there to, to punt the football. And we'll do two reps. And on the second rep, we want to score. Okay? All right. Coach, again, is going to spot the ball on our own 30. Offense comes out. Offense is going to get four calls. Again, our, your coaches are responsible for these spots. And this is important because we're a tempo team. So we're going to be using a lot of signals. Uh, one word calls, all kinds of different ways to get the calls in. So we want to run a middle, a left hash, a middle, and a right hash. Okay, so that way we can the the offensive coordinator can kind of practice what they like to run on on what hash of the field and kind of if they have their game script ready for a Friday night, they can kind of practice what they like to run from what area of the field to get that flow. Then we'll run our punt team on. Okay. We'll have a returner back to field. We'll get two reps at the punt return. So punt, returner runs it back, punt again, returner fields it. Okay? Um, then the coaches will spot the ball at their three-yard line. So this will be our defense with having the offense on their heels. Okay? So the offense is coming out of the end zone. I hope I'm explaining that right. So the defense is um, at their three-yard line, okay, and we're, you know, we're going to get four calls and they're going to be situational. What do we like to do? What defense do we like to be in? The kids recognize that, hey, we got the offense on their heels. What do we like to be in and what do we like to do? Get those four calls in, practice that situation when we got the offense on the heels. Then again, we'll run, we'll, we'll, uh, run our punt block because we have those guys the offense backed up so we'll run our punt block on we'll get a rep of, of our punt block okay let's say we block the ball we got a safety from blocking the ball on the punt we are going to kick return practice setting up kick return after the safety now I don't know what your philosophy is some of you guys may not think that's important I do ultimately it is still just running your kick return but obviously, it looks different, spotted on the field different. So if it ever happens in the game, we practice it. Our kids aren't like, whoa, what do we do? Where do we line up? Okay. <clears throat> so we'll practice. We'll kick return after safety. We'll field it, run a return, whatever that may be. Okay, whatever you call this for return. Then we'll spot the ball at their 10-yard line. So this is now goal line offense. Okay, so we'll get two calls inside the 10. 
or excuse me, yeah, or inside the 10, and then we get two calls inside the 5. You're going to have a coach spot it accordingly. So we'll start on, on the middle of the field. If you ran a play to the left, spot it on the left hash. Then we'll move the ball inside the 5, same deal with the spot. Now, this is also a time if you're running different personnel groupings on for your offense because you're on, uh, you're in the goal line, you need to practice that, right? And you need your guy, that, your coach that has the depth chart for that, you need to make sure everybody's good, okay? So, for example, if you're a spread team but you're getting some sort of heavy personnel and you're running that personnel change on, this is a time to practice. This is a time for your kids to recognize, hey, we're at this area of the field, more than likely we could be running on here, all right? Then we'll run a two-point play. Then we'll run our PAT or our field goal team out and we'll kick a PAT. Then our kickoff team will come back out and we will onside kick, all right? Then we're going to flip the field. We're going to spot the ball now at our own three, okay? So now the defense is on its heels. We're on our own three-yard line. The offense is about to score on us, okay? So we're going to get four calls. And again, per that situation, I don't know what you guys do. I don't know what you guys run. This isn't a video about scheme. So whatever you like to be in, okay, when you're backed up on defense, when you are backed up, when you're on your heels, when you are at your own three-yard line, okay? We'll run our field goal block team out, and then uh, we will run our kick return out. Our, your kicker will kick the ball off. You'll run a kick return, whatever rep you want to do, okay? Call for your kick return. Now, I also want to say this, and I should have said this to start. This is all on air. This is all on air, okay? Then, once we kick return, we'll spot the ball on our own three. So now the offense is on its heels. Okay, so we'll get four calls that are situational. So what are we going to do on offense? When What, are, what do the kids know that we like to do? What, what are we going to do? What do they need to be aware of when they are on their heels, when we're on offense, and we're on our own three-yard line? Okay? And if you need to run personnel groupings on, again, that's another time to run your personnel group on. And I'm going to reiterate that every time a team switches, the expectations for the sideline, whatever your expectations are, everybody's toes are on the line, helmets on, things strapped, those little things need to be coached by these five coaches, the, the two get-back coaches and the three roster coaches. All five of them are responsible for holding these kids accountable, all right, uh, for whatever your expectations are after all this is running on. So after our four situational calls when we're on our own three on offense, we will then run, our, run a tight punch. So again, we're getting a situational practice here. And when we're backed up, I, I would think you're going to run some sort of different variation of your punt. We'll, we'll run a tight punt. You know, to protect any type of rush. So we'll get a rep of that. Okay, if you want to do two reps, do two reps. And then what we'll do, I think this gets overlooked. Let's say it's some sort of situation in a game where you're on maybe your own one-yard line and you want to take a safety. Guys, it sounds, maybe this sounds dumb, but you need to practice what taking a safety looks like. If you get in a game and you've never done that and your kids have never done that they're going to look like you like you're stupid okay have that punter's heels at the at the back of the goal line okay at the back of the end zone okay and that punter's got to be coached that he can't take a step back catches the ball uh and what what coach Kyle used to do what I, I plan to implement when he catches that ball kind of take up as much time as he can running a uh, parallel with the end of the end zone and then when he gets defenders to him, just step out the back, okay? However you want to do that, doesn't matter, but you need to practice taking a safety. As we all know, sometimes it's a better move to take a safety there than to put yourself in a position to give up six, okay? As far as field position is concerned. Then we will free kick again. Another situation that maybe you don't think about that could happen in a game that you don't want to get caught with your pants down and that you need to practice. So we'll free kick. Okay, and what we will have, what we will do is when we free kick, we'll tell the returner to score. Then we'll run our hands team out. 
and we'll do two reps of onside recover. We will run our offense out. We'll get in victory formation. We'll kneel three times. And then, this is important, we're going to storm the field on the third rep and the coach whistling game over and celebrate. Practice celebrating the victory. Mindset. Okay? Another thing to note, we give about 30 to 40 minutes. The reason it's not an exact time is because this is the last thing. We, we will end on this for the day. So it's one of those things that, you know, if it takes a little bit longer, we can kind of push it back a little bit. Okay? All right, guys. Uh, my name is Brad Allensworth again. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, be simple, play fast.